Lights, camera ready for that action. Lights, camera ready for that action. Tags, snatching. Designer on designer, it's a habit. Cause baby, it's a look. It's a look. It's a look. Hey, everybody. Ugh. That is mad fake. That is mad fake. <sighs> oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What's good? It's your girl Tot back with another video. 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 And um, today, guys, we're gonna be talking about this hair that I got in Hunty. So, um, actually, guys, this is a wig. Yes, sis, it's a wig. Um, I sold I sold this on um over the weekend. Usually I don't sew it on, but I had to do a performance over the weekend, so I sewed it on um, just so I don't embarrass myself. So, so guys, the specs on this hair, um, I have a closure which is 20 inches and so is the hair. It reaches me about under my breast area, above my stomach. Um, and this is how long it is. In the back, it reaches kind of above my butt, my flat butt. Anywho, um, and this is natural wave. It's a natural wave by New Star here. So, um, I'm gonna show you how I <coughs> excuse me. So, I'm gonna show you how I took care of this here in this clip right here. about three to four years ago I made this wig and I had it when I was back in Delaware so yeah I had it for a long time and this is my first time wearing wigs back since I um, cut my hair in like almost a year and a half ago I cut my hair into a shortcut so I didn't wear wigs for like a year and then the last time I wore a wig was when I had that short bob in my fashion haul so um, this is pretty different for me with my long back to my long wigs but I really like it and I've been getting so much questions on it questions about it so I wanted to put you guys on and let you guys know what type of hair this is and the length so like, oh yes, this is on a cool mesh cap. And yeah, I did it myself, guys. I didn't have anybody do it. So if you want a wig, hit your girl up. Let me know in the description box and I'll give you my information on, um, yeah, how I made this wig. Also, I will leave a, a link below with the person that I followed on YouTube to make this wig. And her name is Peak Mill. Um, she is an awesome, awesome here. Um, hairstylist also um i don't think she's a hairstylist i'm not too sure but she makes some bomb wigs her and also sophiology their wigs somebody's playing music outside and it's ruining my video i hope they're driving by oh so annoying anyway so um there's a hairstyle that everyone has been asking me about how to do. 
And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve that hairstyle. I need y'all to scoop the neck a little bit. It's kinda on my neck or whatever. So, I, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve that hairstyle. Here is the hairstyle over here. I'm gonna show you in this particular picture that everybody's been asking me. How do you do that braid, girl, with a wig? Like, I don't understand. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it because, you know, I always put you guys on. There's no secrets with me. So, guys, we're gonna get into this tutorial and let's go. Okay, so for this tutorial, um, I have just a brush, like a little um, wig brush, I call it. You can have a demi brush, those works too. I have a hair tie or a um, scrunchie and a clip. So, I was tired of like fixing my part because it has a middle part closure, right? So I was tired of fixing the part. So I was like, you know what? Instead of fixing, because I have my hair out a little bit in the front, as you can see where the closure starts, and then this is my hair right here. I have a little bit hair out of the front. So I was tired of like gelling it down and pulling the hair, the wig forward. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna do this braid so that I don't have to worry about my closure uh, showing, showing where my where my um, wig start and where my hair start. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. So this is a nice hack if you don't feel like. Uh, Fancying up the top of your hair, you could just put, you could just do this. At night, all I do is pull, pull it back into a ponytail and still have the braid in front. And in the morning, I just like fix it up a little bit and head right out the door. So, yeah, this is a nice hack for you ladies that don't are in a rush or y'all don't want to fix your hair today. Anyways, let's get into this video. Let me stop rambling. Okay. So first things first, I don't have a comb. So let me get the comb. So I have my comb now, so I'm gonna part a little like kind of in front of my ear. I don't want too much hair in the front. So my ear would be the splitter from my hair and the braid. So we're gonna do the same for this side. But we're not going to do too much on this side because this is where we're going to braid the hair towards. We're going to braid it towards this side so we don't want that much hair on this side. So now we're going to take, whoo, now we're going to take our scrunchie just to pull the hair, the rest of the hair back so that it doesn't get in the way of what we're trying to do. So now with the brush, now we're gonna comb it out and we're gonna actually like comb over the closure. And the reason why we're gonna do this is so it looks like it's your hair that's just um, going across the braid. So we're gonna comb over the closure so that you do not see any parts or anything once you braid it. And so I, do, I cannot braid. Let me let me just let you guys know that I cannot braid properly. So if I can do this, you can too. So Ooh, I'm sweating, boy. Wait, let me see if this looks good. It does not. So I mean, you know, trial and error. So we're gonna try this again. Right? You see like that? So and also while I'm doing it, I'm making sure it's gonna be closed this time because I don't have time to do this braid over. That braid was popping. So See now. Oh, I am sweating, sis. Everything 
So now what you want to do is open the braid up so that it looks cute now. Sure that any pieces, like any extra hair that's sticking out or anything, you tuck it in like right here. You just tuck it in from under. And then like you kind of want to pull it down so it looks like it's covering your forehead kind of like a little halo thing. So Then you just, you know, fluffing up your hair a bit. And like because the way the wig is made is you don't need to cover any type of like tracks or anything because the hair is like, look. It looks like it's braiding right from your hair. And um, this is the final look. It's okay if it has like sparks and stuff. I think that's what makes it cute if it's like, you know, a little messy. And I like to open it up so you can see the braid more. Oops, this piece right here. Okay. And boom, there you have it. This is the famous little, um, I don't know, halo braid, I don't know. I don't know what to call this. The top braid. This is the top braid, honey. So if you like this tutorial, let your girl know in the description below. Okay, now let me stop. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching my video each and every week, keeping up with your girl tot. And, um, yeah, if you want to see some more videos like, like this, please let me know in the description box. Tell me if you like this tutorial. And, um, also, tag me on Instagram if you did this look or Twitter. Um, my Instagram is T-A-T period three underscores and my Twitter is T-A-T-W three underscores. And let me know if you did the top... I was about to say the top fish braid, but um, let me know if you did the top braid or the crown. I don't want to call it a crown braid. Let me know a name to find for this braid. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Later in my next video. I'll see you later. Later in my next video. Yeah. I can't sing, honestly. Anyways, guys, have a blessed day, beautiful people, and I'll see you guys in my next video.